They might not get the recognition or the big endorsement bucks, but pound for pound, the best athletes on the planet could just be gymnasts. Here's our analysis of the incredible physics and biomechanics of the competitors in this year's SEC Gymnastics Championships. First, we'll examine balance. Atop the balance beam, Alabama's Geraldine Stack Eaton's body creates an arc of about 300 degrees, rotating an angular velocity of roughly 600 degrees per second. In less than two seconds, her feet travel almost 45 feet while she keeps her center of mass directly above the beam. This is like moving from the baseline on a basketball court nearly to midcourt, never deviating laterally more than the width of the sideline. Next, spatial awareness. Giant swings on the uneven bars do more than subject the shoulders to loads up to nine times the body weight. They can also be disoriented. But as Georgia's Cat Ding propels off the high bar, she relies on what's called proprioception, our body's awareness of its relative position in space. And proprioception allows her to hit the lower bar within a tiny window of opportunity. Her body follows an arc with her circumference of about 264 inches. So a 1.6 inch object, like the bar, takes up just over two degrees of that arc. Since she's rotating at an angular velocity of almost 340 degrees per second, that bar is part of the arc she creates for about six thousandths of a second. And finally, speed. Alabama's Kayla Hoffman begins the vault with a run-up reaching a top velocity of roughly 16 miles an hour. This momentum helps Kayla launch her five foot one inch body almost 13 feet in the air. Once airborne, Kayla draws her arms closer to her body, which speeds up her rotation. This enables her to spin 360 degrees around her Y axis and 540 degrees along the Z axis for a total of 900 degrees of rotation in less than one second. That's a faster rotational velocity than Sean White stomping a double court. The women of the Southeastern Conference have proven their dominance on a national level. In the 2011 National Gymnastics Championships, women from SEC schools won three out of the four individual titles, and Alabama took home the national team title. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.